Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my friend, your friend, the host of the hype show, Mr. J. Rock. Oh man, I'm great. How you do this week? Oh man, work. That's what's up. Yeah, check this out, man. I did a tour this weekend. We did comedy. We did plays. I was very busy. But I want to thank everybody for tuning to another episode of the Hype Show. Hype, we have hype. a great show in store for you this evening. We'll be sitting down interviewing my man, 50 Grand, Mr. Swagger. He's a 17-year-old hip hop phenom. Ooh. Also, we sent you out on the streets with the question of the day. What yeah. was the question of the day? If you had 24 hours to live, right? What would be the last three things that you want to do? Hmm, good questions. And also, we'll be playing the game, Ask the Guest. So what I need you to do now is get your popcorn, your chips, your drink of choice, get settled in, and after these words, you'll see what the hype is about. Lane? No, not at all. Are you not paying attention? Are you texting? I was just checking in with my mom. I was telling her that I thought we'd be home by six. It's okay. There's enough time. Just pay attention. I'm not even halfway through my text. There's no way. I'm not even going to look up. My babies are in the car. You have to pay attention. It's just supposed to be a quick text. I'm so sorry. Lane? No, not at all. Are you not paying attention? Are you texting? I was just checking in with my mom. I was telling her that I thought we'd be home by six. It's okay. There's enough time. Just pay attention. I'm not even halfway through my text. There's no way. I'm not even going to look up. My babies are in the car. You have to pay attention. It's just supposed to be a quick text. I'm so sorry. is your future calling. My future? Finish the GED test now, so you won't have to repeat the sections you've already passed. My future? Your future is calling. The current GED test expires at the end of 2013. If you've already started the GED test, you're almost there. Don't feel prepared? We can help. Visit finishtheged.com to learn more. Hello. This is your future calling. My future? I know you're busy, but make time to study for the GED test. Make time? You'll be glad you did when you get that diploma. Diploma? Yeah. Your future is calling. The current GED test expires at the end of 2013. If you've already started the GED test, you're almost there. Don't feel prepared? We can help. Visit finishtheged.com to learn more. everybody. For years I've had questions running through my mind that I always wanted to know the answers to, but I just didn't have the courage to ask it. So what we did, we sent my man Noble Phone Diddy Hunt out on the street to find the answer to these questions. Well, again, what was the question? If you had 24 hours to live, right, what would be the last three things that you would do? Okay, and what did you come up with? What did they say? Ooh, boy, they had some crazy questions, man. I mean, answers to the question. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. You know what? Let's go to the clips. Good people, this is your boy Melvin Funk, Diddy Hunt, the man on the streets for the hype show. I am live in Charlotte, North Carolina, with my man right here, Carolina Black, baby. What's up? What's up, what's up? Yeah, each week, man, we have a question of the day. The question of the day is, um, what would you do if you had 24 hours to live? Say, God, you 24 hours to live. What three things would you do? 
first one, I would slide everything over to my kids for the evening. Uh huh. Second one, I'd probably make a man with the best one. Uh huh. And the third one, I'm a yeah, that's what's up, baby. Hey, this is your boy Mel from Diddy Hunt. We are live and shouting off around again. It's over, baby. Hi, hi. Hey, how you doing? This is your boy Mel from Diddy Hunt, the man on the streets for the hype show. I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, with my girl, the boss lady, Miss Sierra. What's up? What's up? What's, up what's going what's up? on? What's up? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, we got a question of the day that we do each week. And the question of the day is, what would you do if God gave you 24 hours? Name three things. Mm. First, have sex. Mm. You know, we got to have sex. Mm. Huh? Mm. <laughs> um, two. Mm. What's a good one? Yeah, I'm buddy. Back. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, I guess spend the rest of the day with my mom. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, that's great. Check this out. This is Melma Funk Diddy Hunt. We down here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We sign it off. Yeah, baby. It's over now. Wow, those were some crazy answers, but Melma. Don't think you're getting away with it. Oh, already. If you had 24 hours to live, what were the last three things that you would do? Help somebody that was homeless. Right. Bang, 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 bang. Right. Get my guava up, baby. <laughs> you never know who you work with, hell. But after these words, we'll be sitting down with my man, Mr. Swagger. Our children's most important teachers are their parents. Every day, you make a huge difference in your child's ability to succeed. So talk with your kids, read to them, even sing to them. You'll be helping them build a better future. The more you know. Hello. This is your future calling. My future? Finish the GED test now, so you won't have to repeat the sections you've already passed. My future? Your future is calling. The current GED test expires at the end of 2013. If you've already started the GED test, you're almost there. Don't feel prepared? We can help. Visit finishtheged.com to learn more. Hello. This is your future calling. My future? I know you're busy, but make time to study for the GED test. Make time? You'll be glad you did when you get that diploma. Diploma? Yeah. Your future is calling. The current GED test expires at the end of 2013. If you've already started the GED test, you're almost there. Don't feel prepared? We can help. Visit finishtheged.com to learn more. Lane? No, not at all. Are you not paying attention? Are you texting? I was just checking in with my mom. I was telling her that I thought we'd be home by six. It's okay. There's enough time. Just pay attention. I'm not even halfway through my text. There's no way. I'm not even going to look up. My babies are in the car. You have to pay attention. It's just supposed to be a quick text. I'm so sorry. My lane? No, not at all. Are you not paying attention? Are you texting? I was just checking in with my mom. I was telling her that I thought we'd be home by six. It's okay. There's enough time. Just pay attention. I'm not even halfway through my text. There's no way. I'm not even going to look up. My babies are in the car. You have to pay attention. It's just supposed to be a quick text. I'm so sorry.
Welcome back, everybody. This guest right here is a special guy. Please put your hands together for Mr. Swagger. How you doing, brother? Good, how are you? Thanks for coming on the show, man. No problem. Do you mind if I introduce you to the world? Nah, man. Let's have a seat and talk. All right. Welcome back. Man, thanks again for coming on the show, man. No problem, man. Do me a favor, man. What's up? Tell the audience who Mr. Swagger is. So Swagger's a 17-year-old Hispanic rapper who's looking forward to go to the top. All right. Yeah, that's what's up. What's up, man? Thanks. Mr. Swagger is soon. Niño de 17 años, mexicano, que quiere ir hasta arriba del fuego. What he said, that's what's up. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. that's cool. uh, how long have you been doing this, man? I've been doing it for about a year, man. About a year? Yeah. Okay, what gives you the aspiration and the inspiration to do this hip-hop thing? Well, just my, my friends, my family, and my girl. <laughs> oh, you got a girl, huh? Oh, well, yeah. You can say that. <laughs> now remember, you on TV. She can see this. You, you got a girl, and you don't have a girl. You got, you got a, look at the camera. Look at the camera. What? Oh, uh oh. He might be separated after this interview. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's get back to this before I get you in trouble, man. <laughs> we want to know the dirt. No, <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Mexico. From Mexico. Mm -hmm. You live in Mexico? Uh, nah, I haven't been there uh, since I was three years old. So where you stay at now? North Carolina. What part? Hickory. Give a shout out to you. Shout out to Hickory and to all my mexicanos out there. And all my friends, my familia, mis primos, primas, tías, tíos, papá, mamá, hermanos, hermanas. Todos ustedes, los quiero mucho. What he said, shout out to the whole Mexican family and the Hickory, North Carolina family. Yeah. All right, man, here we go. You 17 years old. Yeah. What kind of rap do you do? I do mostly love, inspirational, emotional raps, you know, like, like say uh, you fought for a girl and right. she dumps you for another guy, you know? It, got, it hurts, man, it hurts. And Wow. Yeah. Have you had that experience before? I mean, yeah, once or twice. Man, so, you know, it's like I say, girls come to so I ain't really worried about it. Okay, okay. So your your songs are pretty much love songs, hip hop love songs. Yeah. All right, that, that, that's way off to the left. I like it. That's different because most people rapping about selling drugs, killing people, and all yeah. that. That's, that's not you, huh? I mean, sometimes you know, when I'm feeling it, I just get it out there. But like mostly, I just you know, you know just my own self. Kind of laid back, kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, now some of your musical influences. Who are they? Well, musical influences mostly is uh, Tiger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a dude, man. Yeah, man. I, I love Tiger. I mean, no homo or anything, but he, he can rap. Okay. Now, do you take any of his styles and, and incorporate with yours, or? Well, sometimes maybe like a lyric, like some lyrics, or like no, well, not lyrics, but like some words. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like. I'm like, you know, that 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 sounds good. I okay. like it. You know. All right. Now, you are a student, an athlete, and an artist. How in the world do you take, where do you get all this time? To, and I can't even, where do you, how do you do it all, man? Well, when it comes to school work, you know, it's school time, I pay attention, you know, I'm doing good. When it comes to like soccer or athletic stuff, you know, I just go my best at it. And when it comes to rapping, my free time, go to my room, light myself up in there and start writing and, you know, freestyling, making new music. Oh, wow, wow. So you just shut the world out when you start writing. Huh? Yeah, that's very cool. Now, I don't understand. You're Mexican American, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You know, was hip hop a big influence in your family? How, how did someone of uh, your descent, Mexican American, mm -hmm. how did you fall in love with hip hop? Is it in your household a lot? Or? Nah, man. I'm the first one that's ever really rapped or sang to like anything, like yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Like, my whole family they don't listen to hip hop. When, it, when I told my dad or mom, like, come listen to me, they're like. Now later, <laughs> they mostly listen to that like Mexican, you know, Mexican oh, okay. like Spanish songs. Yeah. They probably say, "What in the world done happened to our son? <laughs> He's in here rapping." <laughs> Bet your pop, mom was shocked about that, huh? I mean, they were when I first started. Yeah, you know, they were like, "Whoa, that's different." But you know, now they support me, and it's all good now. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Now, the little kids in your neighborhood, mm -hmm. the ones that look up to you. What advice would you give them about that? If they said they came to you and said, Mr. Swagger, I want to be a rapper, what would you tell them? I'll tell them this. Um, you can do whatever you want, man. 
you, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. I always thought to myself, nothing is impossible in the world. So I'll just tell them, just try your best, man, and reach for your goals. Now say that again in Spanish. All right. Um, para todos los niños que quieren ser raperos allá, uh, nada más enfóquense en lo que quieren y no, no pongan atención a los, los, que no, los que dicen que no pueden, porque todo es posible. Yeah. Now, check this out. We've covered your style of music. We've covered how you got into the rap game. Yeah. What do you say to those people that don't like you? Those people that say, you're Mexican, you ain't no rapper. You're not down, you don't have flavor, <laughs> man. Get out of here with that. What do you say to those people? I just laugh and then say it's my motto, man. Haters are my motivators. Alright, we'll check this out, man. We're gonna go to commercial break, but when we come back, can you do a song for us? Yeah, man. Sounds good. Tell the world what's the name of the track, man. Still Love You, Man, by Rich Swagger. He still loves me, y'all. Nah. After these words, we'll be doing Still Love You. Hello. This is your future calling. My future? Finish the GED test now, so you won't have to repeat the sections you've already passed. My future? Your future is calling. The current GED test expires at the end of 2013. If you've already started the GED test, you're almost there. Don't feel prepared? We can help. Visit finishtheged.com to learn more. Hello. This is your future calling. My future? I know you're busy, but make time to study for the GED test. Make time? You'll be glad you did when you get that diploma. Diploma? Yeah. Your future is calling. The current GED test expires at the end of 2013. If you've already started the GED test, you're almost there. Don't feel prepared? We can help. Visit finishtheged.com to learn more. Our children's most important teachers are their parents. Every day, you make a huge difference in your child's ability to succeed. So talk with your kids, read to them, even sing to them. You'll be helping them build a better future. The more you know. Back. It's time. Guess what time it is, Mel? What time is it? Guess what time it is, Mr. Swagger? What time is it? It's time to play Ask the Guest. That's right, Ask the Guest, which is sponsored by Southern Ground, located at 417B North Main Street in Marion, North Carolina. This is what's about to go down. What's about to go down? We're going to pitch your brains against his. A battle of wits. Five questions. Can't let you see the answers. The question's on sports. You got to answer the question before he does. You have five seconds. I'll count you down. All right. Whoever gets the question first wins the point. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Melvin Funk, Diddy Hunt, are you ready? I am so, so ready. Who's the champ here? Man, come on. You know it. Ah, kill him. Say about that, man. Yeah, we just, just got to see it, man. Looks like you got him scared already. He shook, baby. He I shook. shook. <laughs> here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready, baby. Question number one. What basketball team did Michael Jordan play for when he left the Bulls? Chicago Bulls. Five. Four. Three. Washington Two. Wizards. There it is, man. <laughs> the Washington Wizards. See, let me tell you something, young fella. You have to listen to the whole question. I said when he left the Chicago Bulls. We, got, we might have a problem here. You know, okay, the score is now one to zero. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready now? Yeah, I'm ready. That was just a test, right? Uh, yeah, I got you. All right, all right, all right. Wow. You okay, man? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> question number two. You sure you're ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm sure. sure you're ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. What team did Michael Vick get drafted by? Five, four, Atlanta, three, Falcons. There it is. All right, come on, man, get your game up. I don't watch basketball. That's football. Oh, God. Oh, my gracious. We see. <laughs> Slaughter. Okay, well, this, this isn't looking too good for you. Okay, question number three. <clears throat> What is the position called in a soccer match 
where the person defends the goal. Five. Goalkeeper. All right, all right, you goalie, got that. Goalie, goalie, goalie. It's his goalkeeper. That's what you got that. He made you change your answer. What in the world? Okay, wow. Okay, let's go over the score. He's on the scoreboard now. Dang. The score is Mr. Swagger, one. Melvin Funk Diddy Hunt, two. You better tie it up, man. You better tie it up, all right? All right? All right. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Funk Diddy, you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. <clears throat> I don't know about him. Woo. Question number four. What? I'm going to cheat a little bit, America. <laughs> what is the name of your high school football team? Five, four. It's for high school. Three, two. Hickory High School. Two one. Uh, you don't know the name of your own high school football team? No. East Park what? East oh. Park Cavaliers. Wow. <laughs> I don't know where you're not gonna. I tried to give you a given and you got that wrong. Whoa, my bad. He's burnt. Y'all might don't even give him his diploma. Just, just <laughs> he messed that one up. All right. Well, the score is. Wow. This is a woo three to one. Right? Is that the score? No, it's two. Two, two to one. Because y'all both just missed. Yeah, that was that was, was an easy that was an easy one for him. He's gonna miss that one. Okay. <laughs> so you've lost, but we're gonna play this last question anyway. Okay. All right. Wow. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I don't think you are. You don't know what hot. Eastburg Cavaliers. Gracious. <laughs> here we go. The fifth and final question. <laughs> it's kind of tense in here. I can cut it with a knife. You ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. All right. How many players are on a soccer team? Five. Eleven. I got that. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Oh, he finally got confident about it. <laughs> That is correct. All right, do me a favor. Give it up for yourselves for playing again. All right, let's go to the final score. Melvin Funk, Diddy Hunt, you had three points. We give you one because he messed that one up, and it's my show. <laughs> he don't know the name of his own. You get a point for that. We're going to give you one point. So guess what? This game is over. The winner is Melvin Funk, Diddy Hunt, and you stink. <laughs> we'll be back with his performance, his hat tra hit track after these words. Can you please? Whoa, wait. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Can you please help me welcome my friend, Mr. Swagger? But you are what I feel so far from your life. You're the first one that made me cry. So much as she was to get your guy. But I know that's not the right way to fly. But I tell you one thing, I'll be king someday. And you'll be my queen one day. I'm by your the marine, come with you are to me. So valuable and beautiful. I get them hundreds and forty foes. So to the whole world, I remember be king. And be the leader of the team now. Crown me. Or is it cause I'm brown, but I ain't a clown. And I'm never gonna frown for a baby. Just give me a chance and I prove that it's worth it. Keep my love, keep my love, cause it's only this survey. You ain't like the best of other girls or them other folks. You're one of a kind, unique, and hopefully getting your love. 
love towards me, something I forever keep on love for me. But for all your fears, I'm the leader of the rap team. Walk up like a flame, that dude is so insane, cause he's got no game now. Dre, he's so fake, but I'm not getting jealous. But I'm just so lonely, not the grudge. Come without you, I'm nothing. I'm just so lonely and marching, keeping it together like a spark. And but I promise you something, I'll forever remember you, cause you're one in a billion. Cause you're one of the very few out there, caring for the world. I wish I was a big bad boy. Like a big party star that lights up my day from so far Oh please God help me get through this pain that hurts me more and more Every day but I just wish I was with you all day every day Cause I just love her so much I was just lonely start so far from a dream for her to be with me With me, with me Want you to know that I'm here for you, so don't worry, cause you're not alone, cause I'm always here at home, so no more about the groans from you, baby girl, you didn't deserve to cry or even try, but baby, I just hope you're happy, but I feel alright, cause I can't imagine some dude giving you kisses and hugs, something I would've done every day, I'm alive, cause I really wanted you to be my wife, but if that wouldn't treat you right, I'ma intercept into your life, and I'ma gain your love from above, and together we'll fly all the way to the top, to the top, to the top. With one, one big blue hot, I'm a gang your love. I'm a gang your love. I'm a gang your love. Baby, just trust me. Trust me. Baby, just trust me. Trust me. It don't matter if everyone else just cuss me. Cuss me. I'ma always be here for you. You, you my gorgeous jewel. I'll never let you go. To the big flock boat. Oh, alone. All alone, never. All alone, never. I'm just killing this beat while everyone else is stopping their feet. So don't cringe your knee, just lend to me. To the tip, something you don't want to keep. Everything ain't about me, this is my true story. How I love my future wife, how she ain't in my life. But the last thing I want to tell her is this I'm a mission, baby girl. To me, you make the whole wide world, and this is the end. One gorgeous, gorgeous. that you're in my lane? No, not at all. Are you not paying attention? Are you texting? I was just checking in with my mom. I was telling her that I thought we'd be home by six. It's okay. There's enough time. Just pay attention. I'm not even halfway through my text. There's no way. I'm not even going to look up. My babies are in the car. You have to pay attention. It's just supposed to be a quick text. I'm so sorry. that you're in my lane? No, not at all. Are you not paying attention? Are you texting? I was just checking in with my mom. I was telling her that I thought we'd be home by six. It's okay. There's enough time. Just pay attention. I'm not even halfway through my text. There's no way. I'm not even going to look up. My babies are in the car. You have to pay attention. It's just supposed to be a quick text. I'm so sorry.